Well, in that case, I'll just drive. If it doesn't. I'll not drive that way. Hello. You should be locked up. Maybe. and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Baldez. Counsel General, I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. How's it looking? Where's Mark? I'm looking around. Um. Bought a Packard, Valez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Don't tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consular garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. Again, a bit smog, and then looking around. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. Not looking at smog. There's not a truth. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. I want to think about, like, names. Yeah. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Consul General. Weren't even his friends, and he still confessed. 
I think Gregory kept my place. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. Did you appear last Saturday? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. What evidence? You have sauerkraut, mister? What? Thanks. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Yes. Yeah. I want to make homicide. Far away, land. You know you Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That as well. Tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. The well, echo. I can't so say bad. as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. Interesting gameplay. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. But is there could there be something in here? No good. We need diplomatic plates. But is that not a diplomatic plate? Huh. I guess not. Take a smarter man than me to connect that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Doesn't tell me anything. Hmm. Can I talk to this guy? Think this is anything. This back look. Nope. Doesn't seem to be anything in here then. Advice? We'll need a full statement from Dewey to put in our report. Yeah, if you don't is. mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. Well, that's All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. 
How do I know he's lying? Does he look like around or just stare? And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. We've talked to Valdez. He was very obliging. He told us all about the arrangement the two of you had. And now quit wasting our time. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal. He bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here. Uh, that's not lying. That's just... That's a dumb... Address, Dewey. Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. 